I've got these two core equipment tents and also a whopping 14 Coleman tents. So based on my experiences with these tents, here are my thoughts on both brands. For waterproofing, Coleman has their WeatherTech system, which features things like these inverted seams around the entire tent, coupled with seam taping on certain seams like the seams on the rain fly. Your tent fabric will also come with a water-resistant coating, the corners of the flooring will be welded, and your zippers will come with zipper cuffs. Core, on the other hand, also has their own waterproofing system, but instead it's called the H2O block technology. The features are actually quite similar, complete with also some inverted seams, some taped seams, a water-resistant PU coating on the tent fabrics, and their tents come with a 600mm hydrostatic head rating. I also noticed the same welded corners and also zipper cuffs for the zippers. So basically real fancy names for fancy waterproofing features. But here's the real test. How do the Coleman and Core tents hold up under heavy rain? For my heavy rain test, I put each of my Coleman and core tents through one hour of heavy rain, either natural rainfall like this or a simulated rainfall using this water hose. And here are the results. For my core 10 person tent after one hour of heavy rain using this water hose, I noticed that this seam connecting the orange part of the tent body to the flooring started leaking and also the orange fabric near the ground vent felt a bit damp. As for my core 9 person instant tent, after one hour of natural rainfall, I noticed the same results as well, slight leaking from the inverted seam between the flooring and the green tent fabric, and the yellow fabric at the bottom was slightly damp too. What about my Coleman tents? Well, for my Weathermaster 10 person tent, after one hour of heavy rain using this water hose, I noticed that the water started leaking into the tent through this inverted seam connecting the dark brown fabric of the tent body to the bathtub flooring and also the dark brown fabric was slightly damp. Do you guys notice the similarities? Basically, I think that Coleman and Core tents have the same amount of waterproofing. Not all the seams come taped for both brands, which is a pity because the most vulnerable seam at the bottom of the tent is usually only just inverted and not seam taped and that's why there was leaking. Also, I found that the corners of the floorings, which are stated to be welded, are also not taped and both tents also started leaking here. On top of that, the PU coatings on both tents are specifically stated to be water resistant, emphasis on resistant, and not exactly the most waterproof. The hydrostatic head ratings on both brands' tents are not the highest, I think easily less than a thousand millimeters. So the fabric will also start leaking after an hour of heavy rain. So if you're expecting many hours of heavy rain, I recommend buying seam sealant and waterproofing spray and using it generously for both these brands. One big difference I notice is the tub floors. My Coleman tents have at least a few inches of tub flooring, my Weathermaster with about seven and a half inches, and my 10 person instant cabin tent with four inches. These tub floors extend up the sides of the tent, so if your tent is sitting in a few inches of water, the tub floor will help to minimize leaking into the tent. On the other hand, both my core tents do not have tub floors. Instead, the fabric extends all the way down to the ground, so I did my best to keep them away from the light flooding in my yard. So I would say that ultimately for waterproofing, Coleman tents have a slight edge over core tents. For hot day ventilation, I would say that Coleman and Core tents are on par with each other. Some tents have bigger windows, like my Coleman 10 person instant tent and my Core 9 person instant tent, while other tents have smaller windows, like my Weathermaster 10 person tent and my Core 10 person cabin tent. However, for rainy day ventilation, I think Core tents are slightly better. Most of my Coleman tents do not have ground vents. Instead, they have these mesh wall vents, which are pretty good if there's not a lot of wind, but you can't zip these vents up from the inside of the tent if there's wind blowing rain into your tent. The best tent I have for rainy day ventilation is actually the Weathermaster 10 person tent, which comes with these two angled windows that I could zip up from the inside of the tent if I needed to. My other extreme is my 10 person instant tent, which has no windows that can be opened and no vents at all. On the other hand, both my core tents have at least these ground vents, which keep rain out much better than the Coleman mesh wall vents. 
my core 10 person tent has two relatively small ground vents, while my core 9 person instant tent has these two huge vents, which can be opened and shut from the inside of the tent, which is super cool. When it comes to cabin tents, I think that core equipment has a wider variety of choices to pick from. They have cabin tents as small as a 4 person capacity and as big as a 12 person capacity and you can even choose whether you'd like a more conventional setup or whether you prefer an instant setup instead. I think the biggest benefit of buying a cabin tent is the spaciousness inside the tent. Here's a quick rundown. First, cabin tents tend to have the highest peak height of all tent types and the livable space is wonderful as well as you get the peak height throughout most of the tent. And second, conventional cabin tents, where you've got to insert poles through pole sleeves, tend to have a much higher peak height than instant cabin tents. Let me show you what I mean. My core 10 person cabin tent has a peak height of a whopping 90 inches or 7.5 and feet, and the lowest height in the tent, which is always at the corners, is about 65 inches. This is actually slightly taller than my height, so I could stand up everywhere inside this core tent. In contrast, my core 9 person instant cabin tent has a peak height of only 75 and a half inches or 6.3 feet. As for my Coleman tents, of all my 14 Coleman tents, my Weathermaster 10 person tent has the highest peak height of 80 and a half inches, and this itself is a whole 10 inches shorter than my core 10 person tent. In fact, my core tent's peak height is so high I couldn't even reach the top on my own. So, for cabin tent variety and for cabin tent spaciousness, Core definitely edges out Coleman a little bit. I also looked at the quality of the instant tent mechanism for both my Coleman 10% instant tent and my Core 9% instant tent. I feel that my Core tent's instant mechanism is slightly better for two reasons. First, for the Coleman instant tent, sometimes one of the black elbow joints of the poles would jam and won't prop up properly, and I'd have to fold it back up and try to prop it back up again. I did not have the same issue with my core tent. Now second, and here's the more important difference, the core instant tent has three hubs, while the Coleman instant tent has only one center hub. This makes the walls of the Coleman instant tent a lot droopier, which eats into your livable space inside the tent. That's why if you're looking for an instant tent and considering either Coleman or Core, I recommend going for a Core instant tent instead. However, on the other hand, the Coleman 10 person instant tent has two amazing features that the Core tent does not. First, the Coleman instant tent comes with one of the best darkroom features that I've ever seen so far. This is what the Coleman tent looks like when all the windows are open. Now let me close all the windows and doors and show you what it looks like. There's only a little bit of light seeping in through the gap between the roof and the rainfly, and also from the bathtub flooring at the bottom of the tent. It's perfect for sleeping in, really. And if you're the type that doesn't like a single spot of light when you're sleeping at night, check out how dark this tent is at night. It's seriously quite amazing. It's almost pitch black even though there are still street lights from the outside. On top of that, the darkroom feature also makes the Coleman tent quite a bit cooler inside the tent during the day, making it perfect for hot summer days. In fact, this darkroom feature isn't limited to Coleman's instant tent. You can actually buy quite a few Coleman tents with the darkroom feature. For example, I've got this instant darkroom tent, this sundome darkroom tent, and even a darkroom dome tent with screen room. You can even buy a skydome darkroom tent or even a pop-up darkroom tent. So if your priority is a blackout tent, Coleman tents are definitely a better pick than core tents. Another reason why I love the Coleman 10 person instant tent is because it has this amazing hinged door. I love it because it makes going in and out of the tent a breeze, I can be inside or outside the tent in like 3 to 5 seconds tops. On top of that, having this hinged door also reduces the need to use zippers. Speaking of zippers, my core tent zippers were okay. They're not branded, but they're not too snaggy either, except when you get this rain cover thing caught in the path of the zipper. My Coleman tent zippers were exactly the same, non-branded, not too snaggy, though this rain cover thing will sometimes snag the zipper as well. But there is a way to avoid this snagging. When zipping the door up from the inside, push the door out at the same time. And when zipping the door up from the outside, lift the rain cover thing when zipping. In addition to just the zippers, I also looked at the materials used, the stitching around the tent, and also the mesh quality. And I found that both tents are actually about the same. 
Both Coleman and Core typically use polyethylene for the flooring of each tent, and the tent fabrics are usually made of about 68D polyester. The stitching is generally fine, both brands use a mixture of inverted seams and taped seams, and I sometimes found loose threads, but it's not a big issue for me. The mesh is also pretty good quality and keeps out larger bugs like mosquitoes, but not no seams. Both brands provide a one-year warranty for their tents, and the only big difference I found is that Coleman tents tend to be made in China, while both my core tents were made in Bangladesh. As for affordability, I found both tents to be equally affordable. I got this two-person Coleman Sundome tent for less than 50 bucks. You can get these three or four-person core tents for just slightly more, as well as this nine-person core tent for barely over 100 bucks. And I also paid slightly over 100 bucks for my Coleman eight-person Montana tent and Red Canyon tents. So they're both pretty affordable. If this video has been helpful to you so far, I would really appreciate it if you could help me hit that like button. Thank you. Overall, I think you might have noticed that Coleman and Core are practically neck and neck with each other. I guess ultimately the brand you should go for depends on what you're looking for. To summarize, Coleman's waterproofing is slightly better because they come with these tub floors, or Core tents tend not to have these. On top of that, Coleman's darkroom tents are pretty amazing and also come with neat features like this hinged D-door which acts pretty much like a normal door. On the other hand, core tents are a little bit better when it comes to instant tents, spacious cabin tents, or instant cabin tents, thanks to the slightly better quality instant setup mechanism. But I think no matter what tent you end up with, Coleman or core, both brands provide tents that are actually great value for money because they're both decent quality for a very good price. For a more in-depth review of how Coleman and Core compare not just against each other, but against other brands like Ozark Trail and Columbia, check out this video right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.